Yeah, if you look at the company's Facebook page where they posted this news you and read some of those comments, you really get a sense of how sad people are uh, to see them go. Uh, we spoke to a couple of employees tonight, uh, former employees, I should say. They said that the company lost a lot of money at the onset of the, of the pandemic and things haven't gotten much better. I don't work uh, for Sundance anymore. I just like today was like pretty much my last day because of everything that happened. A fleet of helicopters at Sundance headquarters are grounded and the company says it's permanent. Employees got the news during a seven minute conference call. Today they sent out an email to the employees and they had a conference call and that gave them basically everything that the statement released to the public was. In a post on social media, the company said the closure comes following months of losing revenue caused by a drop in tourism. As far as I know, they, they're saying that the pandemic is the reason that they were unfortunately having to close down. Former employees say they saw signs of trouble a year ago, but the pandemic was the nail in the coffin. We had warning signs then that something was going on. Um, so the fact that the pandemic happened, um, that made that... I, I think that just pushed it uh, a little bit closer to now. Hundreds of people posted comments on the company's Facebook page saying how sad they are to see them go. Some of those comments from tourists who visited from Europe. It was, it was a really uh, good learning experience. I mean, you meet people from everywhere, a lot of people from different backgrounds, a lot of, you know, pilots come in from everywhere, mechanics. And Sundance says it will continue to provide contractual charter work. We reached out to the company for further comment, but did not hear back. Reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.